A final salute to a World War II veteran dozen showed up to Mr. Artie Green's funeral today. He passed away less than a month after celebrating his 100th birthday. His two daughters spoke with 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson about his full life. You could have asked anyone at today's service to describe Mr. Artie Green, and they would tell you that he was a proud veteran. But if you were to ask his two daughters, they would tell you he was so much more. A decorated war hero. Oh, on the B-17, he was the belly gunner, which is at the bottom of the plane. Mr. Artie Green served as a sergeant in the U.S. Army Air Force during World War II. His daughters, Lissa Roark and Ann Rooks, tell me that while their father didn't talk a lot about his time on the battlefield, there is one memory that sticks out. They got lost, and the uh, pilot came on and said, you know, guys, we got five minutes, and we're going to have to bail. We're going to have to get out of the plane. Came on and said the same thing at three minutes, and then it got to be two minutes, and then Finally, it was about, they had about a minute and a half, and the dad was back there praying, and the sky opened up, and there was the landing field. But his time at war is not what the two remember most. Preaching about the Lord and living it, and just, you know, because it's been such an important part of my life. It gave us a lot of wonderful experiences, a lot of memories. Total strangers came to honor this hero. Well, I think it's part of our duty as Americans to do that. Ryan Jones is an Army veteran who stood on the side of the road, flags waving as the Patriot Guard riders escorted Mr. Green's body to his final resting place. You know, they, they sacrificed far more than we ever could possibly imagine. As the song of the Army goes, march along, sing our song with the Army of the Free. Count the brave, count the true, who have fought to victory. We'll miss him, you know, but yes. we've got to have him for 100 years, and yes. not many people get that. Mr. Green was a recipient of the Victory Medal, the Army of Occupation Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, and he earned a Bronze Star. Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.